The Red Hills farming tradition has deep roots. With little access to recreational equipment, we had to make our own, and of course, we had to use what we had, nature and the lake. We grew up with the knowledge that we had to use our mind to create, and rather than just depend on others to create for you, but we had to create our own, which is, uh, which is good. We're at the Jones Tenant House at Tall Timbers Research Station and Land Conservancy. Like many hunting plantations, Tall Timbers had once rented its land to African American farmers. When Aluster painted the displays here, he drew upon a childhood growing up on a tenant farm by Lake Jackson. This is a just an everyday typical scene of, of the, uh, the activities during that time. I think they used the same blueprint for every house in the area because all of them was made the same. The one I grew up in was a, a block house, but uh, just a short distance away, my grandmother lived in a house just like this. Rooms like this is kind of familiar. We took a bath right in front of the fireplace because that's the only source of heat. We wrap up and run to the bed, and <laughs> of course, you have to jump in right away because it was so cold. Blending family memories and historical research, Aluster carefully planned and composed every scene. This is the pencil drawings of the Tall Timbers project. The composition yeah. evolved as it was by. reviewed. You know, I had more trees and you know, I had more people and it changed the mule. And more the Jones people. House paintings were done in watercolor, but Aluster also does oil and even sculpture. One of my ballet pieces for my upcoming show is going to showcase uh, variety of cultural dances. Each culture has a dance they identify with. This is the African tribal dance here, and this is, this is an oil, and of course that's, I want to capture that rhythm of dance. After retiring as a telephone engineer, Aluster has become a successful artist, but that wasn't part of his career plan. I never thought in a million years I would be an artist to come back and reproduce the everyday scenes we took for granted during that time. To recreate my childhood was a, such a pleasure to do that. Funding for Roaming the Red Hills has been provided by Tall Timbers Research Station and Land Conservancy.